What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. We are back with Tai Chi Panda Heroes and today I kind of want to talk about experience and how to gain experience the best way and utilize it while you're doing it. Also, I want to kind of talk about collecting stuff from daily things that you do and also runes. Some important things to kind of keep you up to date on what things are going to be going through the game as you progress and how to utilize it as you go. Now, of course, you want to check for constitution daily. You don't really want constitution to build all the way up and you're going to get constitution three times throughout the day. As you can see there, there are three different times. If you have the events thing going where it notifies you when something happens, it, I think it'll let you know. But if not, be sure to log in and check those daily. And with Constitution, like I said, you don't really want it to fill all the way up, but you want to utilize what you are doing when you are spinning that Constitution. So if you're not doing a new level, if you're not trying to three star something, you want to be actively farming and using that Constitution on stuff that you actually use and utilize which are going to be the hero shards. Now I'm kind of taking this from the book that they did with Tai Chi Panda. You know, you wanted to farm the pets daily. So this is what I've been doing is I've been farming nothing but the pet shards basically every day. I'll farm those and I'll pop over to chapter one and there's one there that I'll farm. There's one here. Uh, it's just nothing but hero shards. And I do that with every bit of constitution that they give me daily. And of course, you can get your own constitution as well from constitution pills that you gain from doing things in the game. Along with that, you're going to want to go into the guild and check your offering daily. That way you can grab that normal one there. That's going to give you 10 constitution right there. So don't forget to do that daily. Uh, that'll be another thing to help you out. I'm not going to collect it now because it would put me over and I don't want to go over 160 because that will stop the timer and I will basically be losing constitution or experience at that point. Now, through daily activities, you're going to be gaining experience. That's another way you want to do the do things daily. You want to log in, do everything you can possible because you're going to get rewards for everything that you do, even the timed events and all those timed events are going to give you experience. Uh, let's say, for instance, we go into fortitude, even doing arenas at the end of arena match. When you win, you get experience. That is another way to get experience battlefields of course you're going to get from there team instances these are a big experience buffer you get a lot of experience from those pvp i'm not really sure about i haven't actually went into a pvp match and done it just to see if you get them treasure instances unless it's notified that you get experience which i believe you don't it's just for treasure like it says you're not going to get any experience from those treasure hunt uh, the only way you get experience from treasure hunt if it's part of basically the daily thing right here your activities that's the only way you get it from most of those unless otherwise noted along with these guys right here you're not going to get experience you might get something from the world boss kill but i don't believe so uh, i'd have to check after a kill on it and wild escort you're going to get a lot of gold and you'll be able to claim the activity points from that now another way of getting experience of, is of course by completing your daily quest. They come up every day after server reset and you can receive rewards for them. Now you see I've completed this one but it's only a 3 star and I'm only going to get 11,040 experience, 1140 experience and 4,000 gold. But right below it it says get 5 star on all. If you hit it it's only 10 diamonds and it over doubles the experience. You, you're gonna get about two to three times the experience you normally would from daily quest if you do this. And you can do this with every single one of them, get five stars and it's gonna cost you 10 diamonds each time. So if you do it 10 times through the 10 daily quests, that's a hundred diamonds, but you're going to get two to three times the amount of experience. And across that, that's a difference of, you know, 20 and 30,000 experience. So that is a huge XP boost that you can get every day. And it's very simple to do. All you got to do is just go through and complete the daily quest that they have for you. And that's it. You get a lot of awesome experience from it and a lot of gold. All right, finishing off with the experience part, the last part I want to show you is if you forget to do something one day, say for instance, your wild run or something like that, you can go to buy rewards. It'll often let you know that you can get these. 
As you can see here, I didn't do, get to do Wild Escort yesterday, so I lost out on that gold and experience, but I have the option to use diamonds. That's only going to cost 40 diamonds, but I'm going to get almost 5,000 experience from it. Now that is very important. If you miss stuff, you can come back and buy it right here for very small portions of diamonds, and you can also use gold, but I would not recommend using gold because that seems to be one of the bottlenecks currently in the game is getting enough gold to level everything that you have up. Also guys, let's not forget about the other ways you can get experience in Tai Chi Panda Heroes. As you can see here, open world killing. You do get experience from monsters. Team experience you can see right there once they die. If you go in here to the avatar at the top left, you can see player info. And you can see here, it'll tell you how much experience you can get from slaying monsters. Now look, there's a question mark beside it. It tells you the rules. You can only get experience by slaying monsters. If experience collected falls short of the day limit, the remainder carry over to the next day's limit. Now I have heard this goes for seven consecutive days if you don't do this type of experience. So you actually, I believe, cannot lose this unless you don't do it for over seven days. Then it maxes out. Experience pills, you can use these to help you gain the experience faster. I've kind of been saving those myself for higher levels when you can actually get more experience because as you progress higher levels, you are able to get more open world team experience every day. So that is going to be very interesting to see how high that does get up to and how much you're going to be able to get daily. As you can see, I've had autoplay on the whole time. It's been running in the background, still been getting experience. And it would take quite a while to fill up that XP bar, just getting 20 experience. So if you did want to use XP potions that double five times or 10 times the experience you get from it, it's pretty nice to have. And lastly, if you are looking for extra constitution, there's always constitution in the store. You can go to items and it's right here. You can buy it daily, it recovers 25 constitution. Uh, my current level, I can buy seven of them a day if I wanted to, and that would cost me 350 diamonds. Uh, that'd probably be around breaking even, but with the other things that I would do, uh, I would probably lose diamonds in that day. So I would have to get a substantial amount every day for me to be able to continue doing it daily so if you want to use those extra constitution pills you can get them from the store and finally the last thing I wanted to talk about which is runes right here as you can see you have the rune tab now you can go across the different characters and put them in and these you actually level up differently than the other runes that we have seen in games now they introduced a thing in the very late game for Tai Chi Panda which is basically lets you combine runes and synthesize them together to make a stronger rune and that's basically what this is and where you can get them is from these little guys right here. Uh, you can also get them from doing daily quests outside, they rarely drop there, they are also treasure instances for these and you just get them from doing random different things but these are where you can mainly get them from now if you don't have any of these they are buyable from the market uh, not the market but the auction house so if you're looking for runes you can buy those in here uh, just depending on the server they're going to vary in price because this is a player auction market and you can also buy the superb quality for the level 4 runes from there now getting into what you want to do with your runes daily as you see, I went ahead and picked that up. We got some from here. So from doing your activities, you're going to get some there and there. So you're gonna get runes daily. So what you wanna do is go in to your runes and you wanna unequip all of your runes that you're using on your main heroes. Let's go ahead and get all these guys off. And what we're gonna do is go here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just click on any one of the slots and you will, you're gonna wanna go through your tabs and find until you find a three and it's gonna have a synthesize beside it. You gotta have three of the same rune to level it up. Now this is a level four rune right now and I'm gonna synthesize it up to a level five. It's It'll probably be my second one. Uh, this is going to cost a hundred diamonds to do so. But the other ones like you can see here, they usually just cost gold and it'll tell you how many you have. So I'm going to go through here, synthesize all these. You need to do this daily. That way you are using the maximum that you can with your runes. Now you're going to obviously lose green ones, but you're going to be getting stronger ones in the process. 
so I wouldn't be too too worried about that and it'll automatically add in the best ones to do to add in your slots that you have uh, all you have to do is go right here and hit inset and it's going to equip the best runes possible see I now have two level fives on that main hero and just go down the line and it's going to inset the best runes and over a period of time you're going to get a better set of runes for each character that, or each hero that you have and you're going to raise your might continuously daily with just using runes and for doing that you're going to be able to of course from synthesizing runes you're going to get extra experience so there's experience everywhere in this game um, if you have any questions about what to do or how to do any of this stuff guys something to better your character basically that's what I wanted to try to show you guys is something that you can do daily that'll help better your character and instead of just running different instances and just collecting experience you know utilizing that experience that you do get and collect something that's going to be useful later on down the line in the game now I'm not sure what the outcome of it's gonna be we'll see once we get there but I want to thank you guys for watching this if you have any questions about any of this guys feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you like this video leave me a big fat like as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day